Hi all my lovelies, how's everybody doing today? Today is week blah 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 blah. <laughs> I have no idea what week it is but you will probably see what week it is in the title below. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go straight to stats and then we will talk. Okay, so my starting weight was 221 and that was the weight I decided to get surgery at. And my pre-op diet, uh, I lost about 11 pounds so I got down to 208. My surgery date uh, weight was 208. I lost a good amount the first month, and the first month I got down to, uh, into Wonderland, yay! And since then I have been losing slowly. The first two months were very quickly, and then um, I've just been dropping weight slowly. And it goes, it seems like it's going slower and slower and slower the further out I go. Uh, when I came to you, I believe, I didn't watch my previous videos, I should have watched it before I started recording this, but I believe I was 160, 162 in between that range. I've been at the hospital for a whole week, and so I think it was Sunday, I weighed myself and I was down to 157, and that was Sunday morning and naked. <laughs> So with clothes on, I'm like 159, but uh, without clothes, I'm 157. I'll take the 157, thank you very much. So I don't know how much I weigh now. I haven't weighed myself in a week. Drives me bonkers not weighing myself. I need to weigh myself every day. I have to weigh myself. Such an OCD thing, an obsess obsessive compulsive. Anyway, and like I said before, I weigh myself to keep myself accountable because if I'm not weighing myself, I'm just shoving things in my mouth that I'm not supposed to. I'm not consciously thinking about it. Scale helps me stay conscious and the scale is my best friend. A lot of people think the scale is the enemy, but the scale is my best friend. She helps me stay accountable. She could be be sometimes, but scream at me for gaining a couple of pounds. I don't believe I will be 150 by Christmas. It would be an absolute miracle if I was at 150 by Christmas. Christmas is in two weeks. Can I lose seven pounds in two weeks? I drink my water, I walk, don't do heavy intense exercise. I take my vitamins, I take my protein, I drink and eat protein, I do everything right. So, when I came to you guys last, we were gonna go to Disneyland. We went to Disneyland. It was so magical and it was so fun. I had an amazing time. I want an annual pass to Disneyland. I just love Disneyland so much. Maybe one day, maybe when I make enough money on YouTube, I don't know. So as you can see, I'm wearing my wig. I've learned how to do it correctly so it looks more real. Kind of put a headband. I want to get a, one of those hair looking braided headbands so it looks more real. And you'll see that on my regular vlogs that you'll see my hair different ways. I also went and bought three more different wigs. I bought a short hair wig that's kind of curly. I just wanted different styles. You guys, I think I'm becoming a little obsessed with wigs. I like the wigs. I really feel very confident with the wig on. When I, I yesterday, I tried going without the wig. I ended up putting a big thick band right here and my hair up in a bun. I just, it's so sad. I've got all, I don't know, you can't really see it, but I've got all sorts of bald spots. It's horrific and I'm sad about my hair. But I eat everything protein. I don't eat anything without protein, except for last night. No, I had two grams of protein in the, I had some rice crackers that were gluten free and um, they were delicious. I really enjoyed those. Um, they were gluten free, they were a little bit high in carbs, but that's okay because I really, really watch my carbs. So I was okay with binging on some rice crackers that were gluten free. So, but everything I put in my mouth has protein in it. So I don't just randomly eat anything. Everything I eat is protein. So um, 
I take 15,000 micrograms of biotin a day. I also have biotin shampoo, and it just, it seems like it's, it's a loss. My hair is gone, and uh, so I'm just waiting for it to grow back in. You guys can see, you see these little flurries? That means it is growing back in. The biotin is working. It's just taking longer than I want it to. I've got biotin, 5,000 micrograms. That per pill. My Alka-Seltzer Heartburn Acid Gas Relief Chews. Those are delicious. Um, these are Centrum Flavor Burst Chewables. I, those are my multivitamins. They're, they have the soury, bittery, you know, like a sour candy taste. I'm not a sour fan, but I can handle it. My B12 Under the Tongue, I got these at GNC store. I'm gonna have to get more, I'm almost out. If I need some extra B12, I got a vitamin swallowable 1,000 micrograms, so that's, oh, this little bottle is 1,000 micrograms too. So I take two drops. Um, if once I run out of my Flavor Burst Centrum, I got these one a day chewables. I don't like them. These are my backup until I can afford new ones. Um, I've got a vitamin D3-5000 I use. Um, I, when I went to the doctor, I was very low in vitamin D. So I got, um, uh, they prescribed me vitamin D to take every Saturday, but then I take extra vitamin D. Um, from over the counter, which is fine, and it's uh, it, it works pretty good. Um, everybody in my family has been sick, but me. I think because I'm taking all these vitamins, but I don't want to speak too soon. Zip it. And the thing I love about Biotin is that they're freaking small and easy to swallow. I don't know. There you go. They're small and easy to swallow, so I can take three at a time. So I'm taking about three, uh, 15,000 micrograms. That's a lot of biotin plus my biotin shampoo. So hopefully it'll grow back in. Anyway, now that I got off track from what I was talking about, I went to Disneyland. And here's what I ate at Disneyland. I ate a turkey leg. And the turkey legs, you have to be careful because even though turkey has protein in it, these turkey legs are a bit greasy. I ate a lot of the turkey leg, my first turkey leg, and the things are like this big. I mean, it fed all of us in our family. We all shared it and you know, four or five bites, I was full and I was happy. A couple hours later, I had dumping syndrome and my stomach was so upset and I can't do grease. So in, if like burgers or anything like that, I can only eat just a little bit amount and I didn't even think about it because you know, Disneyland, you're not thinking about greasy food, it hit my stomach. So like the next day, I just took a couple bites and I was fine. I think I just overindulged the turkey leg and that caused my stomach to be upset, but I tried it again to see if it was a turkey leg and I was fine. So it was just a couple of uh, bites. They have a Dole Whip. The Dole Whip is a little bit more sugar than you really want, but it is fresh pineapple juice. So um, I get that little ice cream. It's freshly made with pineapple so I can eat pretty much half the thing half the little cup right there and be perfectly fine going to Disneyland I did lose two three pounds that's how I found out that I was down to 157 because I was like at 161 before Disneyland and after Disneyland I was at 157 so walking all that way and staying with my healthy regimen and eating my healthy, um, you know, foods. Um, Disneyland does have good options for weight loss surgery patients. You can find something. Um, I did have a bite of the churro ice cream sandwich from Downtown Disney. I had a couple of bites from that. Too sweet. I cannot do too sweet. Listen, in five months, I have not really cheated much. I may have drank in a sip of soda, which caused me hell. But other than that, I haven't. Uh, eat uh you know cheated so i decided i'm at disneyland i'm gonna cheat at least once which is fine don't feel guilty about it and i lost three pounds so psh, yeah that's what i'm talking about just whatever came my way i would snack on and take bites off so i was kind of a cheap date for my husband so he whatever he buy i just kind of pick off went to a restaurant downtown disney and they had mexican food there and i had some of their grilled chicken um, just on the side and oh, it was so delicious with sour cream and avocado and 
that was really delicious. So you guys, if you guys go to a theme park, you'll be able to find something. You just got to make sure you look for it. Don't just go off and start eating corn dogs and burgers and all this stuff and then feel crappy the rest of the day, in which I did not want to do at Disneyland. I wanted to feel good and I feel great, except for that one time I ate too much turkey leg. I have been wanting to talk to you guys about something, you know, just some, some things that have been on my mind, but it's going to be for a separate video. It's not going to be an update. I'm just going to make a separate talking video because this one's going on too long. A non-scale victory real quick is me sitting in a like a type of chair, almost type of a recliner chair, but not one of those comfortable big huge ones. It was a very skinny one at the hospital in a chair and ready to take a nap. And that was a huge non-scale victory for me. I used to do that when I was a little kid. So everything is loose. I'm from, I went from a size 18, 16 pants. I am down to a size 10. Size 12s are falling off me. I'm always tugging and pulling. So I know I'm going down to a size 10. I've got some friends who were size 10s and that they're giving me their pants, which is great. Other than that, everything is going wonderful and perfectly fine. And if you just came across my channel, go ahead and look back in my um, uh, videos and find out how and when I had surgery. I had it in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Elias Ortiz through www.alighterme.com. Uh, and I, I record my experience. Look at this. My, my wig is like going psycho and knots over here. Got to take care of it. Go ahead and press that little red subscribe uh, button down below. Become a part of this wonderful journey I am sharing with you guys. I can't wait to get to my goal. My goal is between 145 and 150. I don't know how I feel once I get to my goal. I do have a lower goal, but my very first goal is 150. My ultimate goal weight is 135. I'm 5'3", so... A 5'3", 135 is a good number. Um, I want to be able to get down that low so I have a play range of 10 pounds between 135 and 145 and be happy and maintain that weight for the rest of my life. So 135 and 145 would be my ultimate maintaining weight. So 150 is my first goal and then 135 is my next. Once I get to 135, 140, 145, I want, I'm going to think about getting some plastics. And I guess I am thinking about doing plastics out in Tijuana, Mexico as well as going back to the same hospital, to the same doctors. We've already kind of talked about it and uh, they are absolutely amazing doctors. They are very professional and clean in a hospital and I look forward to doing that and uh, getting my bad body looking into shape and not saggy and droopy everywhere, so. Uh, if you are just starting your journey and you are going to be YouTubing your journey, let me know. Comment down below. I will come over and subscribe to your channel. I love sitting there for hours watching you guys talk about your journeys and um, if I ever have time I do comment as well. So thank you so much for watching this long, long, long ass video but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I had a lot to say. I also have a lot more to say, but that will be in another video at another time. I love you guys, and I truly appreciate all your support and help. And if you are a YouTuber, I do have a Facebook page just specifically for weight loss surgery. Not for weight loss alone. I mean, um, that has to be related to weight loss surgery type of stuff. Um, and so if you are a YouTuber, you are more than welcome to come to that Facebook group and hang out and post your videos in there and get to know other people who are going through surgery as well. So we'll see you guys all next time, hopefully by next Thursday, if not before. I hope so. Love you.